Hi everyone, welcome back to Simple Innovation. In this video, I'm gonna continue my previous tutorial how to create a Python based MQTT broker and its client using HP MQTT and also Paho MQTT client. So, in this video, I will continue to connect my MQTT broker to database, especially RDBMS MySQL or Relational Database Management System. So, the data or the message from my publisher will be sent to my broker then subscribed by my subscriber and also from my MQTT broker it will send and save to my SQL database okay let's get started so let's open my previous project here so I have a broker.py let's copy it then I'll call it broker my SQL like this after that Let's create a database and also a table on MySQL. Okay, so let's activate MySQL console first. I'll go to program files, go to MySQL, where it is, MySQL, go to MySQL server, I'll use uh, MySQL server 8.0, go to bin folder, copy it and open through terminal. Okay, I'll open it here, cd here. Then let's activate MySQL min u, my user, Linta, and also min p or dash p, insert the password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, nice. So here is my SQL shell. Let's create a database and then let's create a collection inside. Okay, I will create a database, create database called MQTT. Pi, just for example after that let's use mqtt pi then show tables okay there is no table on my mqtt pi database so I'll create one create table mqtt pi the first one is ID just a simple number increment number ID integer auto increment and it will be not now also i will create a column called message it will be far char 255 not now and the last one i will also insert time it will be timestamp the default value is current timestamp current underscore time Step. okay and the last one I have to declare the ID column as my primary key uh, primary key primary key the ID okay and voila query okay let's show tables Okay, tables in MQTT Pi database is MQTT Pi table. Let's describe the MQTT Pi table. Okay, so this is the structure of my MQTT Pi table. Okay, nice. So I'll use MQTT Pi database and also MQTT Pi table on my SQL. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and to connect to MySQL, I will use PyMySQL. So you have to install it before you connect to MySQL. Let's install it through pip pip install. Then I'll use PyMySQL to connect my Python client to MySQL database. Okay, I've installed it before, so I don't have to install it again. You have to install it to use PyMySQL. Okay, after that, let's uh, import the pi mysql package here. Import pi mysql and I'll modify broker get message function. So the message will be sent to my SQL database. Here, here is the message, right? Packet.payload.data.decode using UTF-8 decoder. Then here I'll insert a connection 
connection to my SQL database. I'll call it con equals to pi my SQL. Okay, pi my SQL dot connect insert host. The host must be a uh, local host because I use uh, my SQL on my local host my local laptop then I'll insert the user the user is Lintang and insert the password also password must be one two three four five and also the database that will be used the DB the DB is MQTT pi right after that let's create a connection using cursor class so class equals to pi my SQL dot cursor and then dot dictionary cursor like this. I'll declare the cursor connection dot cursor. Also, let's type the query. So the query that will be used is to send the data to my table in my database on my rdbms on my SQL. okay so the query i call it sql must be an insert into mqtt pi this is the table right insert into mqtt pi i'll insert the message to message column right here message column values the values must be uh, percent s and the value is going to packet dot payload dot data dot decode okay here uh, and I'll also convert it to string str str packet dot payload dot data dot decode utf8 decoder then let's execute the query cursor dot execute sql and val the data or the message after that let's create connection commit to change uh, the data inside the table inside the mqtt pi table after that just print uh, cursor dot row count just to notify notify us that will be several row or one row data save cursor dot row count data save like that okay so I think it's good enough let's try to activate our broker mysql.py also a subscriber and also our publisher again okay let's open the terminal on the terminal let's split it into three parts again the first one for my broker second for my subscriber and the last one for my publisher okay by broker mysql.py enter it okay nice it's activated and then let's execute my subscriber pi sub dot pi nice connected to a broker the last one activate my publisher pub dot pi enter it nice so now my publisher and also my subscriber have connected to my broker then let's try to send a message from my publisher and let's see uh, the data will be sent to mysql database okay let's try uh, hello world enter nice oh wait there is an error here okay broker get message cursor plus equals okay wait let's here by my SQL, okay dot cursor dot dictionary cursor okay nice no problem 
host user password db and also the cursor will have like this no tick cursor okay. oh i think it must be cursor class okay cursor class with lowercase class save it and let's try again okay let's try again execute my broker mysql and also my subscriber and also my uh, publisher okay nice let's try to send a message uh, hello world enter it okay nice look at that hello world one data save into mysql okay let's open on mysql let's try a uh, select asterisk from mqtt pi let's see nice there is a message called hello world this is the id automatically increment number and also the timestamp here okay good let's try again uh, let's send python is awesome nice one data also saved and also the message is uh, i love arduino enter nice so here is the data one data saved let's try to select asterisk from mqtt pi to see the data here nice hello world python is awesome and also i love arduino okay it works so that's it a basic connectivity using our mqtt broker python based hp mqtt and also our client using paho mqtt broker paho mqtt client then save the data into mysql relational database management system so that's it for full tutorial you can check on my github repo link is on description thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and see you on the next simple project by simple innovation bye bye